See, generally there are three different types of tanks. There are three categories depending on the weight. Uh, the heavy tanks, the medium tanks and the light tanks. Uh, each one has got its own role. One is uh, for protection, one is for offense and these light tanks play a mixed role for both. So if you see in uh, a light tank, there are many players in the world who are uh, making light tanks. There are the western tanks, the uh, Russian tanks, Chinese tanks, uh, the Chinese uh, type 15 tanks which is right now uh, being deployed. Uh, but uh, what is unique is of this tank is the weight as well as the combination of the fundamental parameters of a tank which is the firepower, mobility and protection. All three are optimized in such a way that the weight is also maintained at the same time you are getting all the parameters also. So that is where we stand unique. But generally we have quite a number of tanks that are there which either go up on weight, they are low on firepower or low on protection. So that is a game plan which a designer has to work on. Uh, sir, you, uh, do you think it fits in the light, it, lightweight kind of uh, light tank category? How do you compare it with the light tanks of other countries? Uh, this is lighter than most of the other tank, uh, other country tanks. Uh, that is what I told you. When you compare it, you can compare it straight away with weight. But some of its parameters will be lower. Some tanks will be lighter than this, but protection will not be there. Okay. So those kind of, uh, it's an intricate comparison which we do, basically to optimize. Okay. That is how we do it. And sir, uh, we conduct it. Uh, user trials generally is a methodology that is agreed upon between the designer and the user. So the user will have some requirements, which is already specified in terms of a PSQR. Based on that PSQR only, these tanks are developed. So user will check us, check the tank's parameters based on that PSQR. So every parameter will be marked out, every parameter will be uh, put forth and uh, they will mutually agree how we are going to do the trials and thereafter the trials will be conducted. And which all places? Places will differ based on the user's uh, choices. There are in so desert, many. It will uh, be in the desert, desert it will be in a high altitude, it will be in uh, plains. other plains, riverine terrains. All those terrains that are there in our borders, mostly which is available in our Indian borders. And, uh, uh, it is required. Users have asked for it. So we have incorporated that capability in this. So it is amphibious. It is amphibious. And it can work on both land and water. Yes. Water. Land and water. And, uh, but uh, how I look at it is being an Indian, I would uh, want our Indian Army to first use it. And thereafter, the other industries, other countries will definitely come and take it. Because our own country is using it, so definitely they will come. This has got a very good export potential. Thank you. Thank you. So it is a great day for LNT today. Uh, in within a period of two years, we have brought the tank to a level where it can be taken for internal trials and very soon for user trials. It has been a big effort, a joint effort between DRDO and LNT. And uh, I think it's a great achievement by both these teams. Nowhere in the world has a new product been deployed in such a short time. So it's a wonderful achievement for both DRDO and LNT. So DRDO has started the design come production partnership model and this is one example of a design come production partnership. We will see many much, many more such uh, partnerships. I think that uh, you know developing these kind of products in a short time can only happen through collaborative efforts and concurrent working between the development agencies and the production agencies. In that way, we get associated with the development and we are able to scale up the production very quickly. And, uh, sir? Yes, so the modular bridges, we are going to deliver 41 sets of modular bridges to the Indian Army and we are already on track with all the bridges. First set of bridges have been delivered and they have been commissioned into the Army. We are producing bridges at the rate of two bridges every month and that is the kind of production infrastructure that we have set up, not only within our factories but with a large ecosystem of MSMEs and industries around us. Thank you. Thank you. It's indeed a momentous day for all of us to see the light tank in action. It makes me very happy and proud. It's indeed an example where DRDO and industry, if it works together, what we can achieve. 
in a short period of two years to two and a half years, we have not only designed this tank, but made a first prototype. And now the first prototype will undergo development trials over the next six months. And then we will be ready to offer it to our users for user trials. Indeed, I am very happy today. And sir, uh, by when to the army? So the user trials, usually we have to go through summer trials, then winter trials. There will also be a high altitude trials. So in my estimation, it will take about a year to one and a half years to complete the full cycle of trials. And then the process of acquisition. So I would say that by 27 is when this first tank should get inducted. And sir, last question be that now from concept to uh, product or prototype, it's taken such a short time. As I said, this is an example where we have worked together, we have designed it together, we have developed it together. We have what I would say uh, expertise which is synergistic. We are, DRDO is good in certain things, LNT is good in certain things, and working together has helped us in getting that entire gamut of skills required to make the first prototype. And that has resulted in this short development cycle. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you.